Good morning everyone welcome to this video where we'll be exploring the fascinating world of fundamental interactions. The universe is a complex web of interactions between different particles and forces, and understanding these interactions is essential to comprehend the nature of our world. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the four fundamental interactions, also known as fundamental forces, that govern the behavior of all matter in the universe. From the strong nuclear force that holds atomic nuclei together to the weak force that governs radioactive decay, we'll dive into the intricacies of each interaction and how they shape our world as we know it. So, buckle up and get ready to explore the building blocks of our universe in this exciting video about the fundamental interactions. Particle physics is the branch of physics that studies the smallest constituents of matter and the interactions between them. The fundamental interactions of particle physics are the basic forces that govern the behavior of subatomic particles. There are four fundamental interactions in particle physics, and they are described below. Electromagnetic interaction. This is the force that governs the behavior of electrically charged particles such as electrons, protons, and photons. It is responsible for all electromagnetic phenomena, such as the behavior of electric and magnetic fields and the interaction of light with matter. The electromagnetic force is mediated by the exchange of photons, which are particles that have no mass and carry the electromagnetic field. Weak interaction. This is the force responsible for radioactive decay and neutrino interactions. It is mediated by the exchange of W and Z bosons, which are particles with mass and spin. The weak force is the only force that violates parity symmetry, meaning that it behaves differently under mirror reflection. The weak interaction is very weak compared to the electromagnetic and strong interactions, and it only operates over very short distances. Strong interaction. This is the force that binds quarks together to form protons and neutrons, and binds protons and neutrons together to form atomic nuclei. It is the strongest of the fundamental interactions and is responsible for the stability of matter. The strong force is mediated by the exchange of gluons, which are particles that have no mass and carry the strong force. Gravitational interaction. This is the force that governs the behavior of massive objects, such as planets and stars. It is responsible for the attraction between objects with mass and is described by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Unlike the other three fundamental interactions, the gravitational force is not yet fully integrated into the framework of particle physics, as it does not fit neatly into the standard model. In summary, the four fundamental interactions of particle physics are the electromagnetic, weak, strong, and gravitational interactions. These forces govern the behavior of subatomic particles and are essential for our understanding of the universe at the smallest scales. In particle physics, the fundamental interaction of electromagnetism refers to the interaction between electrically charged particles and electromagnetic fields. This interaction is one of the four fundamental interactions that govern the behavior of subatomic particles in the universe and is responsible for a wide variety of phenomena observed in nature. In general terms, the electromagnetic interaction is governed by the equations of Maxwell, which describe the propagation of electric and magnetic fields through space. These equations establish that electric and magnetic fields are closely related to each other and can produce and modify each other. Electromagnetism plays a crucial role in atomic structure, as the electric charges of the electrons in an atom interact with the electric charge of the nucleus to create a stable, three-dimensional structure. In addition, electromagnetic forces are responsible for many phenomena observed in the macroscopic world, such as the behavior of magnets and the transmission of electricity through wires. In particle physics, the electromagnetic interaction is responsible for several key phenomena. One of these is electromagnetic radiation, which occurs when charged particles accelerate or decelerate, producing waves of electric and magnetic fields that propagate through space. Examples of electromagnetic radiation include light, radio waves, and X-rays. The electromagnetic interaction is also responsible for the behavior of charged particles and magnetic fields. When a charged particle moves through a magnetic field, it experiences a force perpendicular to both its velocity and the direction of the magnetic field. This is known as the Lorentz force and is responsible for phenomena such as the deflection of charged particles and particle accelerators. In addition, the electromagnetic interaction plays a crucial role in the weak and strong nuclear forces, the other two fundamental interactions in particle physics. For example, the strong nuclear force, which binds protons and neutrons together in the nucleus, is mediated by particles called gluons, which are themselves charged and interact with the electromagnetic field. Overall, the electromagnetic interaction is a fundamental aspect of particle physics and is responsible for a wide variety of phenomena observed in the natural world. Its study is crucial for understanding the behavior of subatomic particles and the structure of matter. The weak nuclear force is one of the four fundamental forces of nature, alongside gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong nuclear force. 
It is responsible for the decay of certain subatomic particles, such as the beta decay of a neutron into a proton, an electron, and an antineutrino. The weak force is mediated by particles called W and Z bosons, which are electrically neutral but have a large mass. The weak force is weaker than both the electromagnetic and strong forces, which is why it is called weak. However, it is still crucial for the behavior of subatomic particles and plays a key role in the structure of matter. One of the key concepts in the weak force is irality, or handedness. Irality refers to the fact that some subatomic particles, such as neutrinos, exist in both left-handed and right-handed versions. In the weak force, only left-handed particles and right-handed antiparticles are affected, while right-handed particles and left-handed antiparticles are not. This is known as parity violation and is a unique feature of the weak force. Another key concept in the weak force is the weak isospin, which is a quantum number that describes the interaction between particles mediated by the weak force. Particles with the same weak isospin can interact with each other via the weak force, while particles with different weak isospins cannot. The weak force is also intimately connected to the Higgs mechanism, which is responsible for giving particles mass. The W and Z bosons, which mediate the weak force, were originally thought to be masses like the photon, which mediates the electromagnetic force. However, the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012 confirmed that the W and Z bosons acquired their mass through the Higgs mechanism. Finally, the weak force plays a crucial role in the synthesis of elements and stars. During stellar nucleosynthesis, the weak force is responsible for the conversion of protons into neutrons, which is necessary for the formation of heavier elements. In summary, the weak nuclear force is a fundamental force of nature that is responsible for the decay of certain subatomic particles. Its key concepts include orality, weak isospin, and the Higgs mechanism, and it plays a crucial role in the structure of matter and the synthesis of elements and stars. The strong nuclear force is one of the four fundamental interactions of particle physics, and it is responsible for holding together the nucleus of an atom. This interaction is described by the theory of quantum chromodynamics, QCD, which is a quantum field theory that describes the behavior of quarks and gluons. At the classical level, the strong nuclear force is described by the nuclear force, which is a force that holds protons and neutrons together in the nucleus of an atom. This force is mediated by the exchange of mesons, which are particles made up of quarks and antiquarks. At the quantum level, the strong nuclear force is described by QCD, which is a theory of the strong interaction between quarks and gluons. Quarks are elementary particles that make up protons and neutrons, while gluons are particles that mediate the strong force between quarks. One of the key concepts in QCD is confinement, which is the idea that quarks are never observed in isolation because they are always bound together to form particles such as protons and neutrons. This is due to the strong force, which increases in strength as quarks are separated from each other, making it impossible to separate quarks from one another. Another important concept in QCD is asymptotic freedom, which describes the behavior of the strong force at very high energies or very short distances. At these energies, the strong force weakens, allowing quarks and gluons to move more freely. This property is important for our understanding of the behavior of matter in the early universe and in high-energy collisions and particle accelerators. The strong nuclear force is also responsible for the behavior of hadrons, which are particles made up of quarks and antiquarks. These include protons, neutrons, and mesons. The strong force is responsible for holding the quarks together in these particles, and the behavior of hadrons is described by the theory of hadron physics. In summary, the strong nuclear force is one of the four fundamental interactions of particle physics, and it is responsible for holding together the nucleus of an atom. It is described by the theory of QCD, which describes the behavior of quarks and gluons. Key concepts in QCD include confinement and asymptotic freedom, and the strong force is responsible for the behavior of hadrons. The strong nuclear force is essential for our understanding of the behavior of matter in the universe at the smallest scales. Gravity is one of the four fundamental forces of nature, alongside electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force. It is the force responsible for the attraction between massive objects, such as planets and stars, and is described by the theory of general relativity, developed by Albert Einstein. In particle physics, the fundamental interaction of gravity refers to the interaction between particles that have mass or energy in the curvature of spacetime caused by other massive objects. This interaction is mediated by particles called gravitons, which are hypothetical particles that have not yet been observed. One of the key concepts in the fundamental interaction of gravity is the principle of equivalence, which states that the effects of gravity are indistinguishable from the effects of acceleration. This principle is the foundation of general relativity and has been confirmed by numerous experiments, such as the classic experiment involving two objects of different mass dropped from the same height. 
Another key concept in the fundamental interaction of gravity is the curvature of spacetime. In general relativity, massive objects cause spacetime to curve around them, and the curvature determines the path that objects follow through space. The curvature of spacetime is described mathematically by the Einstein field equations, which relate the curvature to the distribution of matter and energy in the universe. In particle physics, the fundamental interaction of gravity is typically studied at the level of quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of particles on very small scales. However, combining quantum mechanics with general relativity to form a complete theory of quantum gravity has proven to be a major challenge in physics. Another key concept in the fundamental interaction of gravity is the gravitational constant, which is a fundamental constant that determines the strength of the gravitational force between two objects with a given mass and distance. The value of the gravitational constant has been measured experimentally to a high degree of accuracy, but its precise value is still a subject of ongoing research. Finally, the fundamental interaction of gravity plays a key role in many astrophysical phenomena, such as the formation and evolution of galaxies, the behavior of black holes, and the expansion of the universe. Studying the behavior of gravitational interactions on these scales is crucial for understanding the structure and evolution of the universe as a whole. In summary, the fundamental interaction of gravity is one of the four fundamental forces of nature and is responsible for the attraction between massive objects. Its key concepts include the principle of equivalence, the curvature of spacetime, the gravitational constant, and its role in astrophysical phenomena. The formulation of the four fundamental forces of particle physics has been a long process that has evolved over several decades. The concept of fundamental forces originates from the work of Isaac Newton in the 17th century, who proposed the existence of a universal force of gravity that acted on all objects in the universe. This idea was later expanded upon by James Clerk Maxwell, who developed the theory of electromagnetism in the 19th century. In the early 20th century, a new understanding of the nature of matter emerged with the discovery of subatomic particles such as electrons and protons. These particles were found to be subject to various forces that govern their behavior, leading physicists to develop new theories to explain these phenomena. The first fundamental force to be identified in particle physics was the strong nuclear force, which was proposed by Hikikawa in 1935. This force is responsible for holding the nucleus of an atom together and is mediated by particles called mesons. The next force to be identified was electromagnetism, which was unified with a weak nuclear force in a single theory, known as the ultra-weak theory in the 1970s. This theory describes the behavior of particles that interact with both the electromagnetic and weak nuclear forces, such as electrons and neutrinos. Finally, the existence of a fourth fundamental force, known as the weak nuclear force, was proposed in the 1950s to explain the decay of subatomic particles. This force is mediated by particles called W and Z basins and is responsible for converting one type of particle into another. The formulation of the four fundamental forces of particle physics has been a major focus of research in physics for many decades, and many theories have been proposed to explain their behavior. One of the most promising of these theories is string theory, which proposes that the fundamental particles of the universe are not point-like particles but rather tiny, one-dimensional strings that vibrate at different frequencies, giving rise to the various forces of nature. In summary, the formulation of the four fundamental forces of particle physics has been a long process that has evolved over several decades, with the identification of the strong nuclear force, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the unification of the ultra-weak force. The search for a complete theory that unifies these forces, such as string theory, remains a major area of research in physics. Good day.